Hey guys, don't shoot me here, and today I'm showing you how to solo the first checkpoint in Crotid's End. Keep in mind, this walkthrough is for hunters only. To start off, you're going to need a weapon with the lightweight perk. This will help you get out of sticky situations that you will see later on in the video. The second thing you'll need is the Patience and Time sniper rifle. You can utilize its special ability to turn invisible while aiming down the sight. The third thing you'll need is the Blade Dancer class, with a build as followed. Stalker to turn invisible while being crouched. Shadow Jack to increase the length of your invisibility skills. Escape Artist to go invisible after Blink Strike. And finally, Vanish to turn invisible while you are in Arc Blade. To further improve the inf effectiveness of Escape Artist, get your character's strength as high as you possibly can. This will help a lot in the long run. But without further ado, let's do this. The first two lanterns will be up ahead. I recommend starting out with a blink strike to travel the maximum distance before going invisible. We will then proceed to make a right here. As for the fourth lantern, it's slightly to the left. The first time you use your stalker skill, it will take exactly three seconds to activate. Also, to keep in mind, you do not have to turn invisible at every single lantern. You want to maximize the effectiveness of your abilities. Both lanterns after this one are directly ahead. No turns. You will then proceed to go left from this lantern. I should also note that Snucker does not always kick in at 3 seconds. Sometimes it can take up to 6 to 7 seconds, which can really screw you over sometimes, so keep that in mind. As you can see here, my stalker skill did not kick in right away. As a result of that, my, your, this is where your lightweight ability on your gun will come in handy. Simply run around the lamp as fast as you can, avoiding the thrall, and try not to get hit. Once you reach this lamp, you will head down the path to the left. After you have gotten to this lamp, you will head up the right side of the hill. Watch out for both holes. Your next lamp after this one will be found on the right side. Your 16th and final lamp will be set found on the left side. From this last lamp, you can safely use your patience and time to walk directly to the pad.
From here you will want to use a combination of your invisibility skills to stay as li alive as long as possible. I recommend saving Art Blade as long as you can. When the time comes for you to use Arc Blade, use this rock as cover to avoid getting bombarded by Thrall. You will be able to use the Vanish ability a maximum of two times. Once while entering Arc Blade, and a second time right before the Arc Blade duration runs out. And there you have it guys. Don't forget to leave some feedback in the comment section to let me know if this video helped you at all.